cannot perform. Innovation is about adopting a new technology or a new production or venturing in, in, in new grounds that you are not used to. And we have to know also that it's not about only one innovation. Today is this innovation, tomorrow it's another one, tomorrow after tomorrow it's another one. So we have to have a system that is responsive, a system that can deliver that kind of safe uh, learning environment for this vulnerable population. They're just at the level of the poverty line. They want to innovate, they want to innovate, but the risk is there, so many of them are afraid of the risk, they don't innovate. Others try and fall and never go up. Why? Because they don't have that margin to rebounce. So what we do is that um, what we do is a little bit, let me use uh, an example from another sector. For example, when you have a little child, he knows how to walk and so on, but he wants to ride a bicycle so that they can go further, enjoy and so on, faster. Okay, you buy him a bicycle. But this bicycle has typically two, two wheels and he has never driven that bicycle, rode this bicycle, this bicycle, so he will fall a lot, many, many times before before he can really um, ride it. And many of those children, by the way, after they fell so many times, they are so scared, they never ride a bicycle. So what you do is you buy the, those little, little wheels, you put one over each side, and then the child starts learning in a safe environment. Fell, doesn't fall. And gradually you take out one wheel, and then you take out the other wheel until the person is. So. I don't want to characterize our farmers like children, but it was just to illustrate what we're doing. What we're doing for the poorer farmers is to give them a safe learning environment. So we help them with the working capital. We help them with intensive monitoring and, 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 uh, and advice. We give them a field or, uh, for demonstration of the innovation until they are convinced that they can master it in a self, uh, safe environment and then they can expand them on their field and with maybe to their neighbors as well and so on. So that's the, that's the, the principle we are, we are acting on, creating a safe learning environment for that category of farmers that cannot afford the loss of performance before they increase the performance. They cannot afford to pay for the cost and the risk of innovation, which is always there. So that's what we do on our farmers. And the, the, the challenge for institutions and financiers and so on is to be able to devise and to come up with a system that is able to identify the situations, to accompany those farmers in that group and help them until they passed that, that, that threshold.